Basketball tournament is next week. University of Louisville alumni formed a team. It's called The Ville. All right, two former players. You know them, you love them. Peyton Siva and Kyle Keurig in the studio with us this morning, guys. It has to be fun playing with your old teammates. Tell me about uh, who else is on the team. So we have a couple other U of L alumni and mm -hmm. a couple other guys from Kentucky, um, from Louisville area. So we have Wayne Blackshear who's right. joined us, mm -hmm. uh, Shane Bahannon. We have Russ Smith, who's everybody knows Russ Dickless. Uh, Rakeem Buckles has come back. Uh, Dylan Avars from Louisville. So a couple of Louisville guys, and then we have a couple of other guys who's um, been around the program, like Chris Dow, who's mm -hmm. a Louisville native, went to Bellman. Um, Omar Pruitt, Nick Mayo, and uh, am I forgetting anybody? Oh, Chinanu Anawaku, Louisville mm -hmm. guy. So, uh, yeah. So you've had two days of practice with everybody here in town together. What's that been like? Has it been difficult to find your flow, or does it feel like you just picked up right where you left off? I think it's it's gotten pretty good, especially only two days. You have guys that have European experience, and we kind of came together and brought that, you know, how we played Louisville and the European together. So I, I th I'm pretty excited to see how everybody's going to continue to grow together and I think, uh, you know, have an exciting couple games coming up. Yeah. Talk to me about your coaching. How do you feel about your coaches? Isn't Luke Hancock one of the coaches? Uh, Luke is, uh, we don't know what Luke is <laughs> right now. Luke's, he's a consultant. <laughs> Luke's coaching, he's putting the team together. He's just a, a guy who's wearing mini hats right now and we love having him around. He's, it's amazing to, you know, just have him in the building with us, helping along with Coach Lieberman and uh, Jordan and the rest of the guys so uh, it, it's pretty fun just to see him he it's not it's killing him not to get out there but you know we know Luke hasn't played in a while so he's he's taking a back seat yeah we want to also talk to you guys about what you're doing now and you're wearing your shoot 360 shirt <laughs> so why don't you tell me about that Peyton yeah so shoot 360 I'm um, actually opening up a basketball training facility and shoot 360 is a franchise that we're partnering with um, it's a immersive basketball training facility that combines um, in-person skill development with digital uh, gamification and you know it's something that I really loved watching uh, when I first seen it and I'm really glad to bring it to Louisville. We're actually opening up our first facility here in Louisville in Norton Commons in uh, September. Okay. Um, so if you need more information than that you can visit uh, www.shoot360.com backslash Louisville and it's, it's a technology-based gym it helps kids of all ages, um, all skill levels, just continue to progress in their game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. That sounds cool. Kyle, tell me about Kyle's Corner. I know you're a busy man. You're still playing professional basketball in Europe, but you still devote a lot of time to this organization. Tell me about it. No, it's something that uh, I created when I was in, at Louisville still, mm -hmm. and it still has a lot of meaning to me. Uh, we used to do a lot more things when I was in town with the Halloween collection for the costumes mm -hmm. and you know the, camp, the summer camp in the summer. But we still do the toy drive, which is great. Uh, the university has been amazing about you know keeping that going and helping me you know just establish it and, and run it. Uh, my family's been great about collecting the toys, and then we take them all to Home of the Innocents and uh, Norton Children's Hospital, and uh, deliver them there just to go there, have fun with the kids, and play around, and you know try to give them uh, something fun to do that day and something to look forward to. Um, hopefully, you know when I do get back into town after my career, we'll keep expanding things and doing more events. We appreciate your time, both of you. Thank you so much for coming. It was great to see you, great to meet you after watching you play for all these years, and wish you the best of luck next week. Thank you guys for having Thank us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. We want to tell our friends how they can be part of this if you want to go and see TBT. They'll tip off at 7 o'clock on Tuesday. It's at Freedom Hall, and tickets are as low as $19 a piece.